Hey guys, we have your JBL Go 4 portable Bluetooth speaker. In this video, we want to explain to you how to replace the battery on one of these speakers. So in case your uh, battery doesn't want to charge at all anymore, or the lifetime of the speaker, the play time is really short, then we can relatively easily replace this. All we need is here like a small prying tool. You can also use like a flat blade screwdriver. And we're going to pop off the uh, sides here of the back side of the speaker. And you see here this, uh, these corners where they connect to the front. Just pry those loose. There's a couple of clips in there, or there's one clip on each side. And then we're going to work around here with our prying tool on the back side. Uh, we don't want to penetrate too deep inside. Uh, uh, but there's a couple more clips that hold the back side in place. So carefully and slowly work your way around here. And then we can eventually pop this off. And now you see here how these, uh, how the back side is held onto the cover here with those clips. And then we have a bunch of uh, Phillips screws here, five in total. Well, we have to have six in total, but this one in the corner, that's just for the loop here. Uh, we don't need to remove this one, but we do want to remove the other five screws. So let's just do that really quick. I'm going to do that with a small Phillips screwdriver. So, and as soon as we removed these screws, we can pop off the back cover. And now I'm going to use like a really sharp instrument here to pop that off and be aware. Like, so as soon as you do this, now the water, the a speaker may not be waterproof any, anymore, depending on how well you're going to reassemble it in the future or afterwards. So now we do have the battery here that's uh, glued onto the cover, so on the back side. So be careful when you open up the speaker and don't just rip it open, just really carefully lift it off. And then you're going to see here the, the plug here onto the motherboard. We can press down on this little white button on the back end, and then we can really easily pull out the uh, connector to the battery. So now here, right on top of the battery, there's a little plastic shield, like this little clear piece of plastic. Make sure not to lose this, just pull it off, peel it off of the battery and then pull it to the side. And here we have the battery. So I'm going to uh, show you how the, the specification of the battery here with the sticker. And I'm also going to place a link to the replacement battery here on the comment section below as soon as that battery becomes available. So now this battery is still in really good condition. Uh, so that's why I'm not going to remove this because removing the battery is a little bit difficult. We have to pry this out. So since it's really difficult to get to it and these pouch batteries, uh, when you bend them or pry on them, then it's likely that they're going to get damaged. So I don't want that to happen with a, a battery that's still intact. Also, if you pry this out and the battery does get damaged, then there is a chance that if there's any charge left in the battery that the battery may catch fire uh, even after a day or two. So make sure that you really handle these uh, batteries carefully. Once you're done with them, really make sure you dispose off of them. Don't have them in your uh, living space lying around because they may catch fire. Um, so once we have put in the new battery. So glued that in place and we're making sure that we put this shield back on here, this uh, clear plastic. Also make sure that you don't overlap this here with the outside of the uh, back cover because that's where the seal is, this waterproofing seal. So you see the light gray here, that's the seal that uh, makes sure the speaker uh, is waterproof. So we have to make sure that this doesn't, the plastic, the clear plastic doesn't overlap that. And now we can already plug in the uh, speaker, the connector into the motherboard. Make sure you hold this in the right orientation that we have this plug facing us at uh, this little uh, lever facing us at this point. Just push the plug in and it should click into position. Make sure it doesn't come out by lightly pulling on it. And then we can already close up the speaker and make sure that right now here the speaker is going to be waterproof again as best as you can so have no uh, nothing interfering with the seal and just press down on it firmly check that there's no gap here on the sides just like this here and then we can uh, tighten down those five uh, small phillips screws again so make sure that you really tighten those down well so that the uh, speaker stays waterproof 
Okay, so then the last step is just to put on the back cover again. It doesn't really matter which orientation you put it on, like this way or the other way, but if you want to do it the right way, then uh, check that you can uh, see the writing here on those uh, rubber bumpers. They see that the writing is uh, upright while you're holding the speaker like this. And then all we have to do is just first press on it on the back side. You should hear the back cover click into position and then also here on the on the sides push those push the sides right in you should also hear those click in okay and so here yeah, now let's uh, try out see if the speaker works again so you can see here the speaker still powers up powers up again so now we can charge the battery and keep using it okay so i hope this video was helpful if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below